So here I'd like to show you an example of a live PDF. This is a choice board that my students had, and it's a combination of different songs. Um, these are all different animated videos that uh, students have already experienced. They have done every one of these things before. They've either done them in class with me or in remote learning. I also have down here a favorite warm-up that the kids like to do and some interesting videos that we got to watch related to music as well as this is just a long video a YouTube that often a sub will show if I'm not there and I don't have a musical sub. I also put my information at the bottom so that students or parents can always reach me and I'm it's as easy as a click of a button so you can see what I did here is I basically just popped in a table and then I put in an image and some text here I did put the actual link I copied the entire link there for them to click that way if anything goes wrong or they have to print this and access it later they can read all of the names and type it in obviously for things like the biscuit brothers um, this is not one that you want oops, to type in um, but it's there um, I made that choice to do it another way that I can do some links here I'm going to show you on the second page is first of all I can just type the name of the website so for example building musicalminds.com. As soon as I press return or space, there's a line underneath it. That means it is now a live link and I could click on that and it will take me to the website. Another way that I can do it is I can write click here and then what I do is highlight it and I can either right click to add a link or I can go up to the top and go format and then add a link. I could link a web page an email or a bookmark. I'm going to go web page here and I just type it in. Um, and then as soon as I hit return, it's in there. Um, now to make this a live PDF, right now this is just a form and this is great, but it's an open document and I want it to be a PDF for my students to access. There's a few easy ways to do it in pages. The first way, um, probably the right way is to go file export to PDF it's that simple it'll ask you a few questions here yes I want it to be a PDF um, probably the best quality and I'll just go next and it'll ask me where I want to save it okay I can save it to the desktop and just hit export and it's done it creates it and then I have a file that I can share um, PDF is a very universal way to share files uh, so it's a nice way to do it and the links will be live the other shortcut way that I usually do is I will go and print. I'm going to pretend I'm going to print this. So I'm going to press Command P and it brings up this little preview of it. And down in the bottom left is a PDF. I can just save it as a PDF. I can also preview it, open it up in preview and, and check it out there. But I'm going to go save as PDF. And for me, this is just a little faster way of doing it. It does the same thing though. I'll press save and now it knows I already have one named that so yeah I'll replace it okay so then if I go to my desktop here it is it's saved and if I pop it open you can see it if I click on this it will take me right to my Google Drive where my video is housed and the kids can watch it oh.